let's start with the header the first thing about the header is the logo let's write the name of the company let's link it to the home route let's make it large and bold let me quickly grab my logo now SVG is a block element we need to enclose that inside an inline element for that for that we have span let's do the same with the name Make the anchor element flex and center the items vertically. Let's give some spacing to the logo. Margin right too would be good. And give it some color. And LGA, as you can see, is 1024 pixels. And we also need to center it for that we'll use MX Auto. Let's give it a shadow. The shadow is not visible because it's overflowing out of the body. Let's give it some margin on the bottom. It probably needs to go on the header. And we're gonna need some vertical padding on the div. And since we're using Iconify icons, we can use the font size classes, resize, text 4XL should do, or text 3XL seems better. Let's move on to the menu. The menu is enclosed inside a nav tab. We'll use an unordered list inside of it. I'll add a bunch of links. I'll use a placeholder for the href attribute. And let's all Also add a login link for the visitors who are already registered. Let's make it stand out. We'll give it a border, some padding, make make it rounded. The font needs to be a little thicker. That looks great except that it needs to be horizontal. We'll give it a flex and some spacing on the medium breakpoint. Let me quickly reformat it. Let's make the div horizontal and flex and spread the items around with justify between. Seems like we need some hover states on the menu items. It's going to be as simple as a color change. And that works. Let's make the button blue on hover. And that works. Let's move on to the next step. Responsiveness. Works on the XL, the LG, the MD, and the SM breakpoint. Maybe change this to SM. Start with the toggle button. Let's hide the nav for now. Make the toggle icon a little bigger. Now some explanation of what we're about to do. We can use a checkbox input to store the state of the nav bar, whether it's open or not. Let's give it a descriptive name and ID. It doesn't really need a name, so we can remove that. We're gonna have to use a label inside of, instead of a button. It's working. Let's make a show cursor pointer when we hover over the toggle. Though it's not really needed because it's simulating a smartphone. Now, Tailwind comes with a very useful class, Peer. We usually see it on input elements. It enables the elements that come after it to react to the changes in the peer. In this case, we need to listen to the check property of the checkbox. I want the hidden class 
to go class to go away when the checkbox is checked. A way to do that is to add the block class. And it's working. I don't like the horizontal alignment, so I'm gonna make it flex call and small break point and switch it back to flex row. We'll need to do the same on the div too. Now, now we need to get rid of the item center and justify between because they belong to the small break point. Now let's hide the checkbox. Give the menu item some vertical gap. Now let's position the toggle now. We'll make it absolute. Stick it to the right. The right. Currently, the absolute position is relative to the viewport. Let's make it relative to the header or the div. Let's try to center with some. And that looks perfect. Let's see what are the deficiencies. We need some space between the logo and the nav. We're using top margin. Remember, the seems like the log login button needs some margin. And let's turn it into padding and make it both on top and the bottom. Let's see how it's doing on bigger screens. And something's wrong. The nav needs to show up on the small breakpoint, and the label needs to be gone on the small breakpoint. And it works. Let's make the links a little softer. Looks like we're done, but there's something important remaining. This toggle icon doesn't make any sense if somebody is visually impaired. We can put some descriptive text in there. It's only visible when you're using a screen reader. Let's also add an ARIA label of header navigation. Why do we need that? Because there can be multiple navigations on the page, like the footer or the sidebar navigation. So we need to help the people who are using a screen reader. And that's it. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. The component live on componentland.com and the link is in the description.